So before I get started with this video, I just want to take a moment to say thank you, okay? Thank you to everybody that has been supporting me up to this point. I've worked really hard to get to this point, but all of that work would mean absolutely nothing if you guys were not watching my videos. So I just want to say thank you, you know, especially to the people that have stuck with me through all of the transitions I've made, you know, starting from making basketball videos to, you know, just doing sit down face to face videos, to vlogging, to public interviews, Tinder videos, to ASMR videos, to spoken word videos, to, you know, whatever I'm doing now. Thank you to everyone because without you guys, I would not be where I am right now making this video. Now, with that being said, I'm not gonna waste any time with this. Today, I made my very first YouTube check and I got $117.04. I know that that doesn't seem like a lot of money, but I'm gonna put this into context for you guys real quick. I quit my job at H&M back in March. I believe it was March 15th. It was like the day after my birthday. So March 15th was my last day and I got like one more paycheck after that. So other than that, I have not made any money these past four months. I have been making my money last. I think when I quit, I had about a thousand dollars in my bank account and I just had a vision. You know, I had a gut feeling that it was time to go all in on YouTube and you know, the quarantine Basically everything lined up in my life to give me the perfect chance to make this happen. And you know, like I said, I did put in the work, you know, I, I didn't get here on luck or whatever. I do believe that me, you know, believing in this vision played a big role, but I still had to put in the work as well. Me making this money that I made right here, this $117, that means more to me than any money I've ever made at any job because this is money that I have made. You know, I did this, you know, I'm doing something that I love to do. I feel like I'm rich. I feel like I'm rich because I get to live the lifestyle that I want to live just by making these videos, just by, you know, speaking my truth, by being myself, you know, people support me for doing that. And that is everything to me. You know, this $117, this is enough to cover my monthly expenses. And what that means is that I will not have to work another job. You know, I am secure in that. I can continue to do YouTube full time. And that's all that matters because all I need is a chance. I just need a chance to make this a full career for myself. And I promise you, I will be living a very, very luxurious, extravagant lifestyle one day from YouTube. I wanna explain to you guys how you can get monetized on YouTube because I feel like a lot of people really don't know how to get monetized. You know, they think you have to have like 10,000 channel views or, you know, a lot of these other things. And, you know, it's not really common knowledge as much as I thought it was. So I'm gonna try to shine some light on this and explain as much as I know about this topic in this video. So the first thing that you need to understand is there are two requirements for you to get monetized on YouTube. The first one is that you need to have a thousand subscribers. Now, this is why when I set that initial goal of having a thousand subscribers by August, 2020, I set that goal to a thousand subscribers It's because that was like the cutoff. You know, you need to have a thousand subscribers to get monetized. The next thing that you need is you need to have 4,000 watch hours. Now this right here, that 4,000 watch hours, what that basically means is people have to watch your videos for a combined total of 4,000 hours. Now I'm gonna just sit here and tell you right now, if you have a thousand subscribers without like a video that's really doing exceptionally well on your channel, you're not going to hit that 4,000 watch hours. You basically need to have at least one video that does really, really well, you know? And when I say really well, I mean like maybe 50 K or above views. It doesn't have to be viral. It doesn't have to be a million views or anything like that. But if you get a million views on a video, you're probably gonna hit that 4,000 watch hours just with that video alone. So those are the two basic requirements for being eligible for monetization. Now, when you meet those requirements, you can sign up for Google AdSense. This is how you get paid, okay? This is like the basis of how you're getting paid. This is where that 117 came from. Google AdSense is basically the ads, okay? And speaking of ads, I need you guys to watch this ad real quick. 
Okay, if you have ad block on, that was probably very, very awkward and uncomfortable. So turn your ad block off and rewatch the video. So basically, when you sign up for Google AdSense and you know you, you reach those requirements that I talked about, you become eligible to put ads in your videos. Now you control how many ads you put in the video, but you don't get to control which ads you put in the video. This is something that I did not know before. I didn't know they were gonna be putting like Trump ads on my on my channel. Now, generally speaking, you can have an ad at the beginning of the video and the end of the video, no matter how long it is. But if you wanna have ads in the middle of the video, like I just did, then your video needs to be at least 10 minutes long. Or by the time I'm uploading this, it's probably eight minutes long because they're changing the rule. And that rule right there, that rule change, that's about to get a lot of people a lot of money. The way that they calculate how much you get paid is your CPM. Basically, CPM is the dollar amount per thousand viewers on a video. So right now, my CPM hovers anywhere from five to six dollars per thousand views on a video. And actually, it's not views per video. It's just views per day. OK, that is one thing that you need to understand. The views that you get per video don't necessarily matter. It's the views you get per day, but I'm gonna get into that in a little bit. My CPM personally hovers around five to six dollars, but it, it's different for everyone. And it usually varies by category. So when you see like finance channels, like say Graham Stephan, he's making like probably a 15 to $20 CPM. So just those types of topics, and I think tech as well, tend to have very high CPMs. I'm not really sure how they determine that, but just know that not everyone's CPM is the same. So just because somebody has a certain amount of subscribers does not mean that they're getting the same amount as somebody else with the same amount of subscribers. Now, like I said earlier, you get paid based on your views per day, not your views per video, okay? So the main way that a lot of YouTubers make money is AdSense, you know, just the ads on their videos. And there are some people that make no money with AdSense and are still rich. And I'm gonna explain how in a little bit. But basically, your AdSense is based on the views you get per day. So for example, let's say I post a video today that gets a thousand views, but I also have an older video that pulls in a thousand views today. I'm getting paid for 2000 views. Every video that you upload becomes a form of passive income. That is something that I did not know about YouTube before. Every video that you post becomes a stream of passive income. This is how YouTubers make so much money, even if their views are not that high. It's basically like an artist. You know, when an artist puts out new music, they're still getting paid for the streams of their old music and their new music. Also, another thing that I forgot to mention is that you need to hit $100 in order to actually get paid on YouTube. So let's say you make $50 for the month. You're not gonna get that paycheck yet. You have to make $100 to actually get your check. But with these old videos and the new videos adding up, that $100 is not that hard to hit. Once you get to those requirements of 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours, by that point, that $100 will probably flow in pretty naturally. Also, another thing is that you get paid based on the month. So that $117 is based on how much I got paid, I believe, from when I got monetized, which was June 7th, I think, or like early June, to the end of June, the last day of June, and I got paid on the 21st of July. So you get paid on the 21st of each month based on how much you made the previous month. Now, when it comes to AdSense, I would say that this is the least stable source of income from YouTube. Even though you're making money on old videos, it's all based on if YouTube is pushing your videos or not. And also, it is very easy for you to get demonetized or to get limited monetization. For example, you don't see me cuss in my videos anymore, and there is a reason why. It is because I'm trying to get paid. You know, when I cuss in videos, especially like if it's just completely excessive, at the very least, if I'm not getting demonetized, certain companies will not run ads on my videos. So, you know, you could call it selling out. I don't really care. I'm trying to get paid and I don't need to cuss to, you know, prove whatever point I'm trying to prove in the video. Now, the next way that YouTubers make money is sponsorships. People make bank off of sponsorships. Now, when I say bank, 
I can't give you a specific number because a lot of times YouTubers are not allowed to disclose this information. However, I can say that if you have a million subscribers, you can probably command between ten to twenty thousand dollars for a sponsorship. So say for example, somebody sponsors SeatGeek or Honey or any of these other things that you see in all of these videos from popular YouTubers. These people are probably getting paid thousands upon thousands of dollars for these videos. Sponsorships alone can basically replace AdSense income for a lot of people. Say for example, David Dobrik. He doesn't really make much money on AdSense anymore because he uses copyrighted music, you know, a lot of profanity, and his videos are under 10 minutes or eight minutes now. Basically, he doesn't get monetized on a lot of his videos, but his sponsorships allow him to live a very extravagant lifestyle. Okay, just sponsorships and merch, which I'll get into later in the video. The next thing that I wanna talk about is affiliate links, especially from Amazon. Now, I just recently signed up for this and I have not made any money off of it. Basically, I put products in my description of my videos. And if you guys decide to click on the link of those products and purchase them, I will make a commission based on those purchases. So I think in my description, I have my camera that I use, I have my ring light, and I have my mic. So if any of you are trying to start a YouTube channel, those are the things that I use personally. And if you buy them from those links, you are going to put money in my pocket without spending any extra money on your end. I personally think that this is a very, very amazing way to make money because like i said you're not you know scamming people the people who click on these links aren't paying any extra money you're just taking commission from the pockets of these corporations so you know everyone wins the corporations get more business the promoter gets more money and the purchaser gets a good product now the next thing that i want to talk about is merch merch can get you a lot of money okay i can't even throw out a number i honestly can't but say someone like teaching men's fashion, you know, they, they don't even have merch. They have a whole clothing line. But, you know, merch, a clothing line, just anything along those lines can make you a lot of money. And I mean a lot of money, like more than sponsorships and AdSense combined. And this is also a passive income stream. So when you drop that merch and it starts selling, you're making money while you're asleep in the same way that I make money while I sleep just from the AdSense of my videos. As long as people watch my videos, I'm getting money. As long as people buy merch, the person who makes the merch is getting the money. Now, the last way that YouTubers generally make money is from YouTube Premium. And this is usually not that much, at least in my experience. For example, I think I've made like $4 from YouTube Premium. So, you know, it's, it's really nothing significant, but I could imagine that if you have a lot of subscribers, like if you're like Mr. Beast or somebody like that, he's probably making more from that than I am in AdSense. Hopefully that kind of puts it into perspective how much YouTubers make. And just to further illustrate that point, I wanna give you guys an example real quick. So let's say somebody is getting 100,000 views per video posting five times a week. And there are a lot of YouTubers doing this, but 100,000 views a video five times a week at a $5 CPM. So let's just add this up real quick. 500,000 views per week. 500,000 divided by 1,000 is 500. So 500 times five, that's $2,500 a week that that YouTuber is making on AdSense. And that's not counting for their old videos, okay? Their, their old videos could be making them just as much as that. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but if you go down your YouTube recommended page, you'll see videos from 10 years ago. Okay, so any video can blow up at any time. Just because a video doesn't do good initially does not mean it won't get a lot of traction further down the line. This is why I monetized all of my videos that I could as soon as I got monetized because I have videos from way back in the day that are still making me money right now, even more money than my new videos are. For example, my NoFap 30 Day Benefit video has made me almost half of my overall income from YouTube. So, you know, just to put it into perspective, your old videos can make even more than your new videos. But anyways, like I said, we're just assuming that they're making $2,500 a week from their new videos. $2,500 a week times 52 weeks in a year is $130,000 a year 
just from AdSense alone, okay? That is a lot of money. $100,000 a year is enough for most people to live a very, very comfortable lifestyle. And that's not counting for sponsorships. If you have 100,000 views per video, you're probably at around 500,000 to a million subscribers, give or take. You can assume that you're probably making anywhere from 10 to $20,000 a month from sponsorships. So you can add about $15,000 to that, $145,000 a year. Merch, you know, I'm, like I said, I'm not even gonna get into that, but that can make you even more than that $145,000 by itself. And affiliate links, you know, so YouTubers are making a lot of money. That's what you guys have to understand. And that's the vision that I see for myself, you know, and I'd be lying if I said this isn't about the money. You know, I love making money, but at the end of the day, there are a lot of ways to make even more money than, you know, the top YouTubers make right now. You know, I do this because I love to do it and I can get paid for it. You know, that is the ultimate reason why I continue to work this hard and to grind out these videos and turn this camera on every day. You know, that is the reason why I do the things that I do. Now, before I end this video, I just want to give a little motivation to some of the smaller YouTubers. You know, and I mean, I am a small YouTuber, but just, you know, to put it into perspective, when you have 100 subscribers, 3,000 seems like a lot, okay? That is a lot of subscribers. So, you know, just know that it will pay off. You know, just stick with it. Just stick with it. You know, this YouTube stuff is a grind. I'm not going to lie. Even if you love it, it's still a grind. There are a lot of nights where I got two hours of sleep. There were a lot of days when... I ate barely anything because I was so busy making these videos and they were only pulling in like 100 to 200 views. I wasn't getting paid any money. The reason why I did that is because I saw the vision. I saw the vision of me getting that first paycheck, you know, getting monetized. I'm not going to lie to y'all. When I got monetized, I cried for like 30 minutes, bro. Like that right there, it felt like I got drafted into the NBA. That was one of the only times in my life that I can say. I was genuinely speechless. I didn't know what to say. All I could do was cry. So just know I've worked very, very hard to get to this point. And I will continue to work hard because I have an even bigger vision in my head now. You know, I'm going to add zeros to the end of that $117. Best believe that. I'm going to make a whole lot of money doing this and I'm going to help a whole lot of people doing this. So, you know, if you are a small YouTuber, you got to have that vision. Just make sure you never lose sight of that vision in your head of you living your best life, being a YouTuber, helping people out, making change while making change. And never forget that you are one video away from completely changing your life. <laughs>